Hello and welcome to the shortest month in 2021 is February and there are two new kits coming from Bandai both premium Bandai releases. The first one is the Crossbone Gundam High Grade X04 Cross. Looks really good. I really dig this semi gloss finish on the silver deck, but it does look like you will have to have a lot of stickers to complete this kit, especially all those red panel lines. So I think you're better off painting them. For me, I will probably be skipping the high grade crossbone because to be frank, I don't really think it's gonna look that great with that amount of detail. I will probably go straight to the rear grade crossbone, which many of you have told me to get. And you know, given that the amount of rear reviews that kid has been getting, I'll probably be buying that in the near future. What was surprising though was the announcement of a reissue. So the Dictus is being reissued by Banai again. The kit was first announced in August 2020 last year. So I was quite surprised that this kit is getting a reissue so quickly in 2021. Not sure whether this is high demand or maybe it didn't sell very well. So that remains to be seen. One of the interesting releases this week is actually the Gundam Artifact. It's a plastic mini kit released under their Shokugan Kenny toys and I'm not sure why I missed this new product uh, announcement last year because if you want to buy this now it is going to cost you up to 5,000 yen but the bad news is this is not a premium banana release though you are probably going to struggle to find this in your hobby stores because everywhere I look most of the online hobby stores are already sold out so they're actually surprisingly popular right and if you're wondering hey why aren't this so under the mini plow range because Bandai actually have a separate range called the mini plow range which is quite similar in terms of um, size I believe but they are pre-painted so I think maybe that is why the difference in terms of why they decided to call this the Gundam artifact series instead of uh, mini plow so the mini plow kits comes in pre-painted color so you don't have to paint them but this Shokugan Gundam artifact series you will need to paint them because they come in all brown color as you can see from the pictures previously so from what i've seen in the japanese builders what i've shown on twitter so far most of them are using you know manual dry brushing technique to paint this very cool looking Gundam artifact mobile suits and they all look surprisingly good and detailed despite the size so that is something that actually is quite interesting to me what i really like uh, is this one this new high new Gundam that's been painted with a semi-matte finish, two-tone color, just like the original Hainu that we know before it. And if you put that mobile suit next to the Tamiya paint bottle, you can pretty much see how small this guy is, right? So all in all, there are five separate mobile suits. There's Hainu, Nightingale, Baron Custom, Rick Diaz, and also, uh, what's the other one? EXX Gundam as well, right? So if you guys are able to secure this, I will highly recommend them. But uh, this is the first in terms of the Gundam Artifact series. So hopefully there will be a volume two from Bandai coming up very, very soon. Before you turn off the video or unsubscribe from my channel, please wait. This is not another new Unicorn Gundam product by Bandai or a third party bus. This is actually, and hear me out, this is actually a fully functioning computer built with a customized unicorn Gundam case built by Mr. Su Chao from Thailand for the new upcoming case mod world series organized by Cooler Master. And how cool it is for the first time I should get to talk about my two favorite subjects Gunpla and also PC and Cooler Master. So the case mod world series is a yearly affair you know every year they challenge PC builders to create customized case that is you know something that is out of the ordinary something that's very unique and Mr. Sucha from Thailand decided to create a computer case based on a unicorn Gundam destroy mode it's pretty big as you can see the dimensions here but what is actually cooler was when you look at the actual size of the product as you can see that it's pretty big it's really huge and what I'm actually most impressed about is how he actually managed to cram the whole PSU motherboard ram and also the cooling right for the entire system and he also managed to cram in quite a lot of rgb for the base and also the entire unicorn destroy mode so that's actually quite an interesting mod i'm actually wondering if mr sucha will actually sell this um piece after the contest or will he be actually accepting commission build because i certainly wouldn't mind having a banshee gundam 
as a PC case right at my home. So yeah, all the best to Mrs. Su Chao for the entry. Um, but of course, question that I actually have for this entry though, because ASUS is now going heavily into many Southeast Asia companies, uh, countries to start promoting their Gundam related merchandise, right? So ASUS have launched new Gundam related products like keyboards, motherboards, PSUs, monitors. Uh, you can check out my channel for that video or I'll put it on the top right link right now. So will they actually pick something that is related to their competitor's new product launch, which is again Gundam, right? So that, that remains to be the biggest question I have, whether the organizers will pick on something like this, which obviously the brand IP belongs to Bandai and Sunrise. So I'm not sure whether this will be able to qualify them or whether this will disqualify them from the contest. But nevertheless, I am actually quite impressed by the overall build by Mr. Chow and I wish him all the best. If you're a big Gundam Bamatos fan, you probably have no doubt by now already built the Master Grade Kit. And if you want something a little bit more cooler, well, what you're seeing here is a GK resin kit called the Eater Gundam, right? So basically what you need is, you still need to have the Master Grade Gundam Bamatos as a base, but then you add on all the resin parts and then it makes your original Gundam Bamatos looks a lot more badass. It's quite interesting. I myself have never dabbled in resin kits because I don't think I have the right experience or skill set to try and convert my Master Grade Gundam Bamatos to something like this. But for those of you who are keen to dabble into resin, this could be right your alleyway. You know, you can actually use this as a base to learn on how to um, paint and assemble resin kits onto your base Gundam Bamatos. Definitely looks very cool and the entire color scheme of uh, light purple and also gray and white it's quite an interesting color scheme i have to say it looks quite light something that i never thought would look very very cool especially when it comes to the Gundam babatos i always felt that it looks much better in its original red blue and yellow colors so maybe that is just me right so for those of you who want to know more about gk resin kits go and check it out on their facebook page i am not paid or sponsored by gk to make this announcement but if anyone from gk is looking at this video and would like to collaborate with us hey why not hit us up and let us know how we can collaborate together it's the first day of the month so that means you cannot buy the new event limited and also Gundam base limited kits on the Lita shop on Lazada platform. So there are five new kits this time around, the Real Grade Transform Clear Color, SCCS G3, High Grade Unicorn Painting Model, and of course the Haro Limited Edition Gundam base colors as well. The one that I'm actually quite excited about is the Sazabi Special Coating. That kit looks amazing, right? Uh, there are also three separate bases available for sale. There is one that is using the Gundam Base Limited Char Color and also the uh, Limited Action Base 5 EFSF Image Color and also Limited Action Base 2 Gundam Base Colors as well. So these are all the upcoming products that you can buy right now on the Lita Shop on the Lazada platform. Uh, but if you wanted to wait and hold and see how the kits look like, in real life well i can't show you that but i do have the kids right here with me i will be filming them so hopefully i will share with you the review very very soon so for those of you who are new to our channel hey if you love this video please consider subscribing and if you like what we are putting out please give us a like otherwise i will see you down in the comment section below stay safe and i'll see you guys very soon